All right, welcome everybody. I'm Sarah from the Trimble County Public Library. We are fortunate enough today to have representatives from the Kentucky Career Center here. They're gonna give you an overview of the amazing services they have available, uh, whether you're out of a job and need to get started or whether you're ready to really take your career to the next level. The uh, amazing array of services they have, it will boggle your mind and um, you'll wanna stay and, and uh, have a listen. So. I will hand it over. Good afternoon, Trimble County. I hope to be joining you for lunch and learning. I know at the library they are they are um, having computer stations and snacks so that anyone there I say hello to too. I can't see you unfortunately. My name is Valerie Redding. I'm the outreach coordinator for the Kentucky Career Center. And with me today, I have two ladies. Jody Estes is our business services consultant. Jody, you wanna say hello? Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. And Catherine Grisado is our talent development specialist, and he she's here also with us today so we can let you know what the Kentucky Career Center can do for you and how we can serve you where you are right in Trimble County. I am the one that will be in Trimble County, so I welcome anyone to please come see me at the library. I'm usually going to be there on Fridays once the things change up, but right now you can reach me virtually serving Trimble County residents, so I look forward to hearing from any of you. But saying that, are we ready to go, ladies? Sounds good, Val. Yes, we are. All right. Ready. So welcome to the Kentucky Career Center, your partner for employment, and we are going to do an introduction of services. The first thing I'd like to do is just let you kind of know what the, what, what's it, what the Kentucky Career Center is. And that is the Kentucky Career Center, KentuckyAnnaWorks.org, and that's where we're going to keep referring you to because if you can remember one thing, you know, you may not remember all of our emails or our names or anything like that. But if you can go to KentuckyAnnaWorks.org and, and there's a place where you can just sign in and then we'll reach out and contact you from there. So if anything else, just try and remember the KentuckyAnnaWorks.org webpage. But what it does, it offers a one-stop solution to our, employ to our employer partners and job seekers throughout the seven county region. Those those seven counties, Catherine, where are you, girl? Those seven counties are Jefferson, Henry, Oldham, Trimble, Shelby, Spencer, and Bullock counties. We practice this, guys. So we're going to get with the program here. Here I am. We might, why don't I go ahead and take the next bullet, Val? Sound good? That would be, yes. Go All ahead. All right. So I can't wait to tell you about this, you guys. So we've got two full service centers, um, and those are um, in uh, Louisville. Uh, the Kentucky Manufacturing Career Center, the um, uh, NIA Center on Broadway, um, and then us, the Mobile County uh, Service Team and the Business Services Team. So we all work together to help you to get connected to the right job for you, get your talent built up, and we're going to go on with that a little bit more as we get to the next slide. But both employers, so we're like the bridge between the employer and the job seeker. Um, so they, you have, they have direct access to information about everything from job openings to specialized assistance and training programs and workshops that we offer all free. All free. Jody, what do you got next? So with two full service centers um, and mobile county and business service teams, both employers and job seekers have direct access to information about everything from job openings to specialized assistance and training programs and workshops. And like I said, once again, we serve Jefferson Henry, Oldham Trimble, Shelby Spencer, and Bullock counties. In light of the concern for public health and well being, the Kentucky Career Center, KentuckyAnnaWorks.org, locations in Louisville, Shelbyville, Shepherdsville, and Eminence are currently closed to the public. And so all of our services are being virtually brought to you. And we're ready to help you get virtual and stay in that virtual, the new virtual way of job searching. Uh, so a uh, good place to start. We can't say it enough, KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. Thank you. Now, Catherine, you're on the spot because now we're going to talk about the I services and how we actually put them into play. So as what we do at the Kentucky Career Center is we have our talent development specialists. A lot of people call it career coaches, but we like to say talent development specialists because we like to bring out your talents 
your, the, the different things that you have to bring to the table that is what the employers are looking for. And I can tell you right now, the employers are looking. So Kat, what do you do to help people get ready to, to be meeting the interviews, going to see the employers and getting that job that's gonna match them? Well, Val, uh, we offer uh, customized career advice for today's job market. So what does that mean? It, wherever you are on your career search journey, if you need something immediately, but you're looking to plan for the long term, we want to help you every step of the way. I want to help you as your talent development specialist, just as much as Ms. Valley, uh, Valerie and uh, Ms. Jody that we're going to talk about um, on the next slide and how we all work together to... Uh, help you get connected and stay connected, stay motivated, um, and uh, help you develop your talent and get ready to, to get back to work and uh, onto your career path. So and Kathy, that, and we use, we, we use, what is our, the big thing that we optimize to help people find jobs, get ready, have everything there in the one place that they can then see what they're, what they're, what they're related to, what their matches are, shall I say. Focus career, focus career, focus career.ky.gov. I wouldn't be here today <laughs> if it was not for focus career. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm a big fan and uh, can't wait to help you get connected to this, uh, it's a great resource to match you with uh, the right jobs for you because the way Focus Career works is the more information that you put into the system, the better it is at matching you with the right positions that you're looking for. And so I can help you to expand your search, think about different ways to word um, the job duties and how much and how often you did them on your resume so that you can get the best optimized matches through focuscareer.ky.gov to the job that you really And you can love. do it two ways. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. You can do it two ways with your resume on Focus Career, right? Once your resume, how does that work, Kat? So with Focus Career and it is, as it is a, a job matching system um, similar to um, indeed.com or careerbuilder.com, but Focus Career pulls that information from all those other job search websites. And uh, not only that, but our business services team monitors and helps connects our employers to the employer and through uh, a Focus Talent so that there are those um, direct connections as well. But with the resume specifically, like uh, Rhett Valerie was talking about, um, you're going to want to have one that's optimized for those um, applicant tracking system um, facing websites like Focus Career, but also um, having a professionally uh, tailored um, resume that represents you that you can hand to or direct email to an employer um, will help you to um, market yourself even further. And one thing those I are like best to upload for the to the company websites as well. Exactly. And one thing I like about focus is because, you know, the hardest part anyway, what I've always noticed with writing resumes is coming up with the words. What did I do with these jobs? What words sound, you know, all of that. And one thing about focus career is in the system, it has that drop down menu. And so you can put your job title and then it gives you all the different kinds of skills. And those are the skills that the employers are looking for. Exactly. And it gives you the chance to think about with those examples um, how to expand on those examples um, and give uh, uh, specific uh, numbers and figures that uh, speak to your accomplishments on each of the jobs uh, that you work with. Um, okay, that, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, so we got resumes covered and, and even if, you know, focus yes, career or resume writing isn't your thing, that's why you have us. That's why you have the Kentucky Career Center. We have certified resume writers. We have a number of different tools to help you with, re with resume writing, but that's just the first step is getting your exactly. resume. So what happens when I have my resume and now I'm getting ready to go when I wanna do an interview, what are you gonna do for me then? If you wanna sharpen your interview skills, we've got a interview expert um, and an uh, expert in uh, human resources uh, as well that can give you some great advice through our free uh, workshops at KentuckianaWorks.org. Um, so that will help you to uh, brush up your interview skills, make sure that you're on par with today's job market and um, being competitive as far as the, the virtual way of interviewing as well. All those topics are touched on and updated regularly as part of our free workshops at KentuckianaWorks.org. 
Um, so uh, not only that, but we can help you with mock interviewing one on one as part of your talent development experience, too. So I'm happy to help you with that. Um, and so you can bounce ideas off of me. I can connect you to a, a third party. You know, so we're not I, I might be too nice, you know, but, but um, mm -hmm. I can help you with uh, getting you connected to my team as well for for mock interviewing, too. Uh, but those free workshops are the great place to start um, for interview skills at KentuckyInterworks.org. Um, so not only that, but those other free workshops that um, uh, Miss Debbie and Tina, our, our works uh, facilitators, um, offer uh, provide help to build your professional network through uh, job search strategies um, and uh, professional networking um, workshops as well. And I did want to share this with you guys. When I was at the Trimble Library, they have a little room in the back, and it's and it's very nice. It's got you know a window so you can see out front. Two people can sit in there and that's where we would be, you know, in the Trimble Library, if you know, and, and there's complete privacy, we were able to do, you know, practicing mock interviews. And that was really, you know, that's a good exercise. And even if you've been interviewing, it doesn't hurt to, you know, get back in and do a little practice, let people, you know, bounce things like you said, cat bounce them off each other. And that's, that's really nice. And I hope to see people at the Trimble Library so we can practice interviewees and get you interviews and get you ready for the next step that you're looking to go to. Okay, let's talk about the career calculator. <laughs> what, so what is that, that about? Kat? What is that? So let me tell you. Um, so careercalculator.org is a tool that our Workforce Development Board uh, came up with to help you to navigate the, the nationwide um, job search information database called ONET. Um, so when you look, go into Career Calculator, um, it's really user-friendly. Um, it gives you three options to choose from. You can go to search for the type of education that you're interested in learning more about or the job title specifically, say that you're applying um, for a welding position. Um, and uh, you wanna know what kind of money uh, welders should be making in your area based on your uh, local and national data. Um, and that gives you a way to um, negotiate salary when you get to, to where you're being offered something that you might feel like is low compared to what your skills and experience reflect. Um, so career calculator um, is a great way to find out more um, about the, the local job market data and exactly. uh, how the it fits with your job search. Yeah, with the high demand career field. So maybe you're not even quite sure, you know, but you can see the jobs that are, you know, what they're paying around here locally what you know what the number of openings are different things like that so it just gives you a good idea so you know what your career field looks like and where it's going right that's a very well put Val absolutely <laughs> thank you okay but that's of course we don't stop with that because we love nope. career services and so we have training courses we use ResCare Academy and I'm going to jump ahead on this one Kat because I love LinkedIn learning and I know Me you like too. There we go. Let's go on LinkedIn learning because what will Kentucky and the um, Kentucky Career Center, how much does it cost when you it usually cost like $26 a month to subscribe right. to there LinkedIn is a, learning? There is a monthly access. cost to yeah, a regular user using LinkedIn learning um, because there's such a wealth of information um, through LinkedIn learning that when they part, I know. Yeah, and they partner with us. How much are they paying though? It's absolutely free. Thank you. Yes. It is. It is absolutely and free to access it through, uh, you know, getting uh, assistance and working with us with the Kentucky Career Centers um, and partnering up with uh, Valerie uh, and myself as your talent development specialist. Um, we ha ha are able to offer this LinkedIn learning through this website called RestCareAcademy.com. So with RestCareAcademy.com, all the, inf the free workshops um, and uh, certificates that are attached to the completion of those three workshops that you can add as experience to your resume are all available for free to you um, on, on restcareacademy.com and that connects you to that LinkedIn learning and that LinkedIn learning um, would normally have a cost attached, but with us, it's absolutely free. There's a lot of resources on, you know, just for example, I've taken leadership courses. There's a great resume building course that's a great supplement to our workshops that I'd like to introduce you to. Um, and uh, there's- um, oh, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't forget too that, you know, when you were talking about the workshops earlier, Deb and Tina, they do workshops just on LinkedIn. So they, they do, and the importance yeah. of 
having LinkedIn in your toolbox as a part of your job search, we can't stress enough, especially in today's virtual world. Um, if you're going to want to have the best representation of yourself on LinkedIn um, and try to use that as a resource, and Debbie and Tina do a great um, user-friendly way of um, walking through how to create your LinkedIn account and how it relates to the importance of networking in your job search. And plus there's jobs on there on LinkedIn that you don't want to miss out yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? A lot more employers are using that again. So, I mean, are using it, not that they ever stopped because when it came out, it came out strong. But All right. The usage what about... has definitely jumped. So yeah, LinkedIn workshops free. All right. So we talked about how we can help people get jobs on Focus Career, LinkedIn, you know, there's other job sites and your career coach or your talent development specialist, as we like to call them, are there to help you with that. But what about when you want to go and meet face to face with the employers? We know COVID's going on, so that's not always easy, but aren't, but we're doing things to keep the employers connected to the, you know, the people that are looking for the jobs. And one way is through our job fairs and our employer spotlights. And that's available too, just right on KentuckyAnnaWorks.org and you'll be able to see it. You can talk with the employers. There's a lot of different opportunities that we wanna make sure that we connect you with and, and draw your attention to. Anything on that one? I, I pretty covered it, but that is that is one of the things we absolutely value is making sure that, because we, we like, we go from the employer's approach too. Well, you know, what are the employers looking for? Because that's how we know how to prepare people for the jobs and to what strengths and what skills to bring out and show them that this is a good match. Exactly. So we, we're the, the bridge between the, the, those employers um, seeking talent and your talent that you're ready to get connected with those employers. So the, it absolutely, just like, just like Valerie was talking about, we want to stay connected and communicating um, all the awesome opportunities that are coming up, especially with the weather change in. Um, there's a lot more outdoor job fairs happening. Um, so I want to help you get connected. We do to um, any of those uh, opportunities that are out there. And there's a whole bunch of employers are uh, ready to hire. So we want to help you get and, ready. And that's a quick, a quick overview. I'm sorry, can I keep jumping down on you? Um, but I was just going to say, you know, that's what we do as talent development specialists. We work with the people to help them get ready. And and Kat is our, actually our talent development specialist for Spencer and Shelby counties. Yep. So you know, if there's people here watching today or here with us today, we do like I when we went over the seven different counties that we serve, we have talent talent development specialists in every one of the counties that can assist people. And like Kat already said, there's no cost. It's you know the services that we provide our free services to Kentucky residents. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on real quick, because I don't want to take up a lot of time and we've covered most everything here, was, um, which one did I miss here, Kat? Veterans, there we go. And I, and I, we did want to let people know if you, are, if you are a veteran and we do appreciate our veterans and say thank you to those. Right now we're wearing red for remember everyone deployed on Fridays because I too have a son in the military and, and Kat comes from a military family and we value and we appreciate the service that our veterans have given. We wanna make sure that we give back to our veterans as well. And they are our priority with the Kentucky Career Center. Are we covering it Kat? Are we good on TDSs? Well, let me tell you a little bit more about support services that are available through uh, getting connected with us uh, at the Kentucky Career Centers. Um, just like Valerie had mentioned, um, we, our, our veteran uh, uh, citizen customers are our top priority, excuse me. <clears throat> but there's also a lot of people in need um, who we wanna help connect to resources through the support services that we're able to um, help assist with through the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act, which is our federal funders, which makes our programs free to you. So things like transportation or um, assistance with car repair Uniform. or, um, uh, I'm sorry, Val, what, did you have another example? Oh, and I was saying, you know, because, uh, yeah, the, with the uniforms, you know, a lot of times we run into people that are starting right. new jobs. And there's a requirement for uniforms or steel toed boots. And those are things that we can help with. That's what you're. Exactly. Exactly. So um, what I'd like to say is I want to help connect those dots 
um, for you. So if there's any obstacles in your way, I want to connect you with the right places that you know, might be able to provide those assistances. So um, if you're not sure how we can help, we, want, we, we will find you an answer. Absolutely. And we, par we partner with the local, um, local area organizations. We're on Unitas where we can do referrals, the United exactly. Community, so we can do referrals to other services too. So we'd be happy to help. Come see us in the library or, well, that'll be on Fridays when we go, we go back in. But then other than that, you know, I'm always available. My information is right there at the top of this screen. It has my Valerie Redding at KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. Even if you didn't remember my name, you can just go to KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. You can put in your information and say that you live in Trimble County and I'll be the one reaching out to you. So I really hope I can meet up with some people that we're having our lunch with today. Okay, we have covered talent development specialists. I think we know what we, what, what, what we're, how we're willing to help people, how we want to help the people of Trimble County. But then we have the other side of the house, which is our business services side. And with us today is Jody Estes, a business service consultant. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what the business services at Kentucky Career Center does. Hey, Jody. Hey, Valerie. Good morning again. It's afternoon now and we are ready to go. If we were there at the library, ready. you'd probably be having snacks with people and saying hi, and that would be so that nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so it a day. Oh. go ahead. You All right, so direct employer connections, Jody. That means to the people that are looking for jobs, what how is that going to help them? Yes, yeah, so um, we have tons of connections to employers. Uh, we probably hold one of the largest uh, employer connections in the uh, region. Um, there's for every uh, employer, we have at least a contact or two. So um, one of my favorite things to do uh, as a business solutions consultant is to uh, skills market uh, a client to a customer. Um, if you get um, the resumes to uh, Catherine or Valerie, I more than likely have a contact. So I'd love to get them, get your resume right in front of them. Exactly. And, yeah, and that's been working well for us. We also have because we have, um, it's hard to cover all the areas. So we have our business services solutions consultants also on, on certain areas and certain departments or fields, you'd say. And so you, Jody, which one, where, where's your expertise at? What's your- My name? expertise is healthcare. Mm -hmm. I'm healthcare, in the absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we have one for, I, for in all the different sectors, we have business, business solution consultants that have connections to the fields that you're interested in can just, you know, give you information on what employers are saying and what's going on and what they're looking for. And that's something that Jody and we I have, have picked up. We have manufacturing, we have IT, we have business administration, and of course, again, me, healthcare. Yes, thank you, and we do need that. Um, we also do, we're just starting into the registered apprenticeship support. So if you're interested um, in apprenticeships, come talk to us about that. We'd be happy to give you more information, let you know the benefits with the apprenticeship programs. Absolutely. What about labor market? And labor market information. What about that? We use the career calculator for that one. Right. And that's Absolutely. where we put all our, you, go ahead, Jody. Mm -hmm. You can put um, whatever job it is that you're looking for, uh, as Catherine was telling you, into the career calculator, and it'll give you the labor market information, um, what those jobs um, are paying, what the labor market has to say about those uh, particular jobs. Thank you. Now, I kind of covered a little bit like the employer spotlights and the pre-screening, but can you tell them a little bit more about it so they know what to, what's involved with that and what, what the benefits are in going to those events? Mm -hmm. So um, with the employer uh, spotlights, um, that is where we will host an employer um, from time to time employers who have at least 24 or more opportunity job openings available. So those are real, that is a really good time for you to get in front of an employer. Um, instead of hosting um, hiring events because of COVID, we're having to do the employer spotlight. So that way um, you come in on um, a particular job, 
setting with the employer and then um, you'll virtually uh, get to get an interview. You'll get to ask the employer questions um, so, and so forth. So it's kind of like a, a virtual hiring event is, is what I would refer to it as, Val. Yes, and we do offer those as well too, the virtual hiring events where the employers are there and you can meet with them and interview them at that time too. Mm -hmm. And and now if you were looking to find those, the, the virtual hiring events, you could just go to KentuckyAnnaWorks.org, right? And you're going to see all Absolutely. the events that we have. And you're going to... Excellent. And that's what I want to keep stressing is go to Kentucky Anna Works. It'll let you know the programs. You can sign right up there for the workshops. You can be connected to a talent development specialist. Right now we're in Trimble, but for the other counties, any counties there, go to KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. Just let us know what county you were in so we can hook you up with the right person and we can make sure that we're working with the employers that you're interested in being hired for. Absolutely. And the last thing we have our question and answers. Now, Sarah said she was watching the question box and she would let us know if there were any questions. So I'm gonna give a minute and see if we have any questions and then kind of go over one more time just to let you know how to get in touch with us. Jody, Catherine, come join me on this now. Yes. Do we have any good questions? We have not had any questions show up yet. What about you, Sarah? Now, do you have any questions for us? What? When our patrons um, come in and ask um, if they can set up appointments with you or how to get in touch with you, what is the best way for them to set up appointments to meet you here in the library? The best way is um, let Sarah know, let anyone at the library know. They have my contact information there. And anyone, as long as you want me to be contacting you, they can give me that information. We also have a sign-in sheet so people can, you know, sign in for services, KentuckyAnnaWorks.org, or even just my phone number. If, you know, someone's interested in, you know, that, we can post that too in the chat room if that would be helpful. But, you know, my email is there, and I know it's, and it was at the beginning, Valerie.Redding at KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. And like I've been saying all day, it really... Just if you remember the KentuckyAnnaWorks.org, you can definitely connect to me. Just put that you're in Trimble and you'll be, I'll be the one reaching right out to you. You, you will be here right No, you will be no. here regularly on Fridays. Is it possible for you to meet people other days of the week? Oh, absolutely. Now, in, now once, right now I can meet with anyone virtually. So that can be okay. any day of the week. It's just, I like to, I like to go in and I like to see what's going on in Trimble, stop by the judge's office and the different offices around town and say hi to people and make sure that, you know, they have our contact information so they know how to reach us because we really are there to help the people in Trimble County with any of the career services that we have. I would, I would love for you to reach out to me. Let me be able to help you. Perfect. Perfect. Well, do you guys have anything else or shall I wrap us up? <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. I we wanted to keep it about, you know, unless anybody else, Catherine or Jody, you have anything no, I, to add? I do not. Thank you. Though. I want to thank you all for joining us today. And a, a, just a big shout out to the Trimble Public Library and Ms. Uh, Sarah uh, for uh, facilitating this uh, great way for us to connect with you folks today. So uh, please reach out to Valerie if you're in Trimble County and all the other counties, go to KentuckyAnnaWorks.org. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you, thank you for joining us. You guys are just great. So I can't wait to uh, work with you more and have our patrons take advantage of all your services. So we'll do this again soon and I'll- we hope so. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. Thank you okay. for joining us. Thank you.